Some of you probably heard the phrase that uh, generosity is the root cause of uh, abundance or wealth, financial wealth. And if you haven't, make a note of it. I'm going to leave you with a little uh, tidbit, a little practice of um, how you could part with your money with generosity. So when you go to the store next time, think about how many people contributed to you being able to go to that store. There are people who work maybe under the scorching sun or cold, brittle winter weather to pave the road for you, to make that road, to clear the trees, to uh, roll the asphalt or concrete or whatever road you're traveling, maybe even pebble. Um, there are people who work very hard to put the store, to build that building, um, there are people who come in the morning every day to that store and they have families, they have uh, kids, and they work um, weekends and early mornings and late nights, particularly here in America, for us to be able to get to the store and buy whatever you want at any time of the day. Think similarly about the products that you're going to buy. So whether it's a, a loaf of bread or, I don't know, fruits and vegetables, um, somebody had to get up uh, and plant something and tender it with love and care and um, grow and cultivate. And then, I don't know if it's bread, you have to grow wheat. You have to tender it you have to nourish the soil you have to collect the um harvest and then process the weed into the flower and then there is another person who has to ship and move and transfer and drive it these big track drivers that um drive the highways or the planes or whatever that process was to get that bread, get that flour into somebody else's warm hands who would bake it, um, make it fresh, uh, and uh, sell it to you in the morning. So by the time you're ready to pay for whatever you buy in that store, whether it's a loaf of bread or a bag of oranges or, I don't know, a gallon of good milk, you are filled with that appreciation and gratitude. And when you part with your money, think of all of those people that you're so grateful and wish them, wish them good um, health, wish them to live in, uh, in the house they, they want to live and have food on their own tables and have all the necessities and goodies and joy in life and bless that money when you part with it because it's going towards them all of these people who put that bread in your car or in your shopping bag um will get a share of that dollar two three that you spend it sounds like it's low but it's not when you bless that money um wish for it to come back to you a hundredfold um don't be don't begrudge spending money don't uh begrudge your husband spending money or your children spending money uh think of uh, gratefully of whatever they're spending on where that money goes to so send very good energy with it send a blessing with it uh, and see if your financial uh, abundance increases um, as a result of that simple practice.